So I want to talk about some of my pet peeves when it, uh, in regards to teaching mathematics. Uh, the first one I'll just mention briefly is pi versus tau. Now there's a couple of people that have um, illustrated this much better than I could. Uh, if you'll go to tauday.com and read the Tau Manifesto and uh, Vi Hart's uh, excellent video Pi is still wrong. Let me just briefly say that imagine how much simpler trigonometry education would be if in radians instead of having pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, one had tau over 4, tau over 2, three-fourths tau, and interpreted tau as a turn, quarter turn, half turn, three-quarters turn, full turn. Okay, my second peeve is um, subtraction and division. Our number system, the, the rational numbers, the real numbers really, uh, are field. Well, the rational numbers at least are field. Um, and in a field, addition and multiplication are axiomatically defined uh, commutative operations. Uh, division and subtraction uh, show up nowhere in the axioms of a field. However, um, negative numbers do. and reciprocals do. Reciprocals uh, for every element except the additive identity, zero. All right, those are in the axioms for a field. What gets me about uh, subtraction and division is that they're confusing. You take A minus B, and that's not the same thing as B minus A. A divided by B I hate that symbol, by the way, is not the same thing as B divided by A. But if we use negatives and reciprocals, we get A plus negative B is negative B plus A. Right. A times the reciprocal of B is the same thing as the reciprocal of B times A. All right. uh, teaching negatives and reciprocals would allow us to keep um, this uh, commutivity of our operations and uh, um, not have to say, oh, the big number's first, and then say later, oh, we lied, the big number doesn't have to come first, there are these things called negatives, and so on. I think negatives and reciprocals could be taught earlier than subtraction and division, and subtraction and division, when they're introduced, could be introduced as, as they are, notational conveniences. All right. My third pet peeve is just uh, the way we uh, name our counting system. All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and so on. We call that base 10. Well, this is really inconsistent with the way we call the bases of any other counting system. For instance, uh, let's look at base Five. All right. One, two, three, four, ten. Ten appears in base five instead of the five element. Base two. One, ten. Ten appears again instead of the two element. Right. Now let's take a look at uh, a base that's higher than this many, more than that many. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, ten. That's duodecimal, base twelve, all right, as we would say, which I don't like that either. Um, but the C element, this plus two more, uh, is replaced with the 10. 
10 appears in every counting system. It just means where the number system runs out of symbols. So really, uh, this, You see? It's that many that doesn't have a single symbol in our normal counting system. And we usually name the counting system after the next symbol that doesn't exist in the counting system. So I would prefer to call our uh, counting system that we use uh, base A instead of base 10. All right, well, that's all my pet peeves. Thank you for listening. Uh, have a good evening. Wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. I missed one. Big one. Uh, big pet peeve of mine. Mixed numbers. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. These are terrible. Well, my big problem with these so-called mixed numbers is that they're abusing notation terribly. For instance, if you take this, 2x, you have two symbols, a 2 and an x, uh, juxtaposed. All right? Juxtaposition implies multiplication in this context. Now take a look at one of our mixed numbers, like 2 and a half. In this case, two symbols, 2 and the reciprocal of 2, are juxtaposed. And if it's the same meaning, this would be 2 times 1 half, which would equal 1, but no, 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 no. That's not how these mixed numbers are used. In so-called mixed numbers, juxtaposition is implying addition. Oh my gosh. Terrible. Terrible. Mixed numbers need to die. All right, thank you for listening. Have a good evening.